Hey, it's Nina Carmichael and we made these videos because you're probably the most ambitious person in your circle. But you know you're capable of more and you get that push by surround yourself with the best. So today let's learn from one of the best, my husband Evan Carmichael. You need to start doing this every single morning. Okay, let's kick it off with rule number one, recognize the weed. You are what you think about all day long. If you think that you're not good enough, that you can't do it, that it's never gonna work, then you're right. And if you think that you are capable, that you can do it, that it will ultimately work out, then you're also right. The question is, which thoughts will you spend all your day thinking about? So the biggest thing that's been a weed in my garden has been the fear of disappointing people. I'm afraid of disappointing people. It's still my number one fear. It's always been my number one fear. And it used to handicap me a lot more than it does right now, but it's still there. It still exists. The unweeding process is something that has to be done consistently because the weeds keep coming back. I'm afraid that I'm going to make this video and nobody's going to watch it. I'm afraid that people are going to watch it and you're not going to like it. I'm afraid that you're going to, you're going to pick up my book, Built to Serve, and, and trash it and hate it and say it's the worst thing you ever read. I'm afraid that you're going to spend money to go to an event that, that I'm speaking at and you're going to be disappointed and say it was a waste of time. Uh, I constantly have these thoughts in my head and the thing that I'm maybe most proud of is being able to handle those thoughts, recognize them for what they are, pull them out of my brain and, and go and do it and act because those ideas and whatever they are for you, they keep you small. If I kept thinking like that, I would have never made my first video. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have this business. I wouldn't have this impact. I wouldn't be talking to you. We wouldn't know each other. You wouldn't be subscribed to this channel. I'm sure you'd get it somewhere else, but not exactly like we can deliver because this is Believe Nation and it's something special, right? None of this would have happened. I'd be living a shell of what I could be. And that's what I want for you as well to recognize the chatter in your head that is keeping you small, that is preventing you from going off and building something amazing because you know you're capable of more. Deep down, deep down, even if you're a super high achiever, you know you're capable of more. You know that this version of you right now is not the best you can be. That you might be working really hard, but you're letting yourself off the hook too easily for things. You're not pushing as hard as you could. You're not being as productive with your time. Doesn't mean you have to wake up at four in the morning every day and get to work. Even just look at the time you're spending right now while you're awake and see how productive you are. There's room for improvement, right? For me, for you, for everybody. And so that's the constant game, to recognize the weeds in our head, the weeds in our garden, recognize for what they are. Stop convincing ourselves that we can't do something because of this excuse that we've made up, this reason that our friends and family have told us that we are capable, we just need to rip out that weed and get to work. Rule number two, chart your start. Chart your start. What you do in the first 15 minutes of your day matters. Chart your start. Have a plan of action. Most people wake up like an accident. Most people wake up, they're tired, you pull out your phone, you start looking at your email, and what are you doing when you're looking at your email or looking at social media? You're responding to other people's emergencies. Like you wake up, you're tired, and the first thing you do is you start responding to other people's emergencies. I want you to control the first part of your day. Chart your start. Understand what it is that makes you come alive. Understand what is the action that helps you feel bold, creative, unstoppable. We've all had it. You've all had moments where you have felt bold, courageous, and unstoppable. What led to that? Reverse engineer yourself. What led to you feeling bold? Is it watching a video? Is it reading a book? Is it having a conversation? Is it doing a meditation? Is it taking your dog out for a walk? Is it cutting the grass? Like, I don't care. There's no judgment. I don't care what the thing is that makes you feel bold and courageous and unstoppable. I just want you to do it daily. I want you to start your day with intention. Most people don't start their day with intention and that makes the difference between the people who achieve success and the ones who don't. And so chart your start, figure out the thing that makes you come alive, that makes you feel like that big crazy idea of yours is actually possible and put that into the first 15 minutes of every day. If you did the thing that made you feel bold, courageous and unstoppable in the first 15 minutes of waking up every single day, not every day will be amazing, but I guarantee you that your life will look unrecognizable from where you are right now. Chart your start. 
Also, if you want to have more self-confidence and self-belief, check out my 254 series where every day for the next 254 days, I will send you an unlisted video. The science says it takes up to 254 days of consecutive action to build a habit. So I'm going to be with you every step of the way. If you want to be on for free, 100% free, there's a link below. Go check it out. I'll see you there. If you're doing work that you love, you're more likely to follow through. You're more likely to do it because it doesn't feel like work because you love doing it. The people who win work the hardest because they love what they do. Create an outline and a schedule. What I found really helpful for me was to create an outline at the start. Rule number three, be consistent. Be around it 24 seven. So whatever it is that you want more out of life, be around it always, constantly, every day, so that there's always some kind of reminder from, from your environment here to what's on your cell phone background, your computer background, reminders, notifications, videos that you're consuming. We're constantly being bombarded by information that doesn't actually even really help you that much. Think about how much time you spent consuming content on social media networks this week that haven't actually helped you. That's just been a waste of time. If you flipped, and took some of that time to actually being intentional about what you're consuming, to say, I am watching this, not because it's some gossip or some news thing that doesn't impact my life, but because I'm trying to get better, because I want to learn how to improve and change my life. Being intentional with your learning, being intentional with what you wear, being intentional with your office environment, being intentional with how you set up your morning routine, intentional with everything. If you did that, again, your life is gonna change. Whatever you want more of, it needs to be constantly around you in your life. Right? There's a famous saying that if you want to learn Japanese, you go to Japan. You want to learn this new mindset? You want to learn and make that shift in your life? If you're around it once a week, it's not going to happen. right? If you learn Japanese from a textbook once a week, it's going to take you a long time to learn Japanese. And you'll never become fluent. You want to learn that mindset? You want to make that shift? You want to be around it every single day, 24-7, constantly. Rule number four, flex the eggs. Flex the X. One of the things I love doing is I get an annual calendar. I'm working on making a custom branded one here, but an annual calendar. And every time that you hit your main goals, you cross it off. And what you want to do is not break the pattern, right? Flex the X. We're getting strong, raw, and you're building momentum. I'm a big fan of momentum. I think we don't have enough momentum in our lives, in our businesses and towards our goals, where will you see something like this? Where you see that I did it yesterday, I did it before, I've been doing it for months. You don't want to break the pattern. And so flexing the X, feel proud about every single time that you do the thing that you want to do. So for me, the two most important habits that I have on here, uh, one is fasting until noon. And so the only thing I have in, before noon is a coffee or a tea or some water and then 30 minutes of cardio. So I'm running for 30 minutes a day. I went to Boston and we got in at three in the morning. We drove all the way there and I was really tired, but I wanted to get my X. And so <laughs> three o'clock, everybody's going to sleep. I'm still running for half an hour. The only exceptions, if I'm super sick, if I'm on medication, which doesn't really happen that often, then I'll give myself a break. Then I'll be gentle on myself. But most of the time, it's not that you can't do it. Most of the time, it's not that you're not able to do it. You're just procrastinating. You're just being lazy. You're just being tired. And so having a system like this where you can flex the X is super important so that you build momentum. You build, you build, you build momentum to actually accomplishing the habits because success is a habit. Because again, everything you want in a life is on the other side of you doing the consistent habits every single day. And when you can track them like this and feel the momentum, it's so much easier to keep going. Rule number five, the last one before our very special bonus clip, prepare the night before. Most people have great morning routines. They start the night before when you actually have a little bit more time. So instead of trying to cram everything in to that hectic, ridiculously crazy morning, help make it easier for yourself by planning a little bit more the night before. So if you're one of your goals is to, to exercise and to run more, the night before, set out your shoes, set out your exercise gear, set out your clothes so that all you have to do is wake up and put them on. If one of your goals is to eat healthier and you're tired of going out and eating McDonald's for lunch or whatever it is, then the night before, plan your lunch. Make a sandwich, make a salad, create something healthy, have some snacks so you can just Go to the fridge, pull out your bag, and you're off to work. Today's my video day. 
when I know it, it's my video we did the night before, I set up my camera, I set up my gear, I set up my microphone, it's all ready for me to go, so all I have to do is walk in and press record and I'm ready to go. Make it easy for yourself. Don't cram more into your morning. Prepare the night before. Now I've got a special bonus clip that I think you're gonna enjoy. But before that, it's time for the question of the day. I wanna know what was your single biggest takeaway from this video and your plan of action for the next week? When you watch a video and you get motivated, the science says you have a 35% chance of following through. That's not enough. <laughs> but when you write down what time, what place, and how you're going to actually take action on it, you jump to 91% chance of following through. And when you have public accountability and you commit to other people that you're gonna do it, it jumps to 95% that you will follow through. So I want that for you, Believe Nation. I wanna know your single biggest takeaway from this video and your plan of action for the next week. Put it down in the comments below so I can celebrate you. Most people sleepwalk through their entire life, spend their entire day responding to other people's emergencies and never having clarity over what they actually want in life. When you start with an intention, your whole life begins to change and it can shift in a moment beginning right now. So one of the things that I do every morning is I have a quick little journal I'm not, I'm, I'm not a big journaler, but I have a journal where I just think about what am I, what is my intention for the day? What do I want to accomplish today? What are my goals for today? And I have my macro goals. When I wake up, I know today I'm going to be filming videos. It's already been scheduled in. I have the time to do it. So I'm not stressing out over when I'm going to make my videos, but it's a different energy when you show up, when you show up to make videos and your entire focus is on, I want to make the best videos that I've ever made in my entire life. That's my intent for today. You show up with different energy. You create better content, hopefully. If that's how you show up every day, you're much more likely to come up with amazing content. And so every morning I'll look at my calendar and see what do I have planned today. And if it's video day, I'll say, I want to make the best videos I've ever done. And, and this isn't a half an hour exercise. This is 45 seconds. I just tell myself, I want to make the best videos I've ever done today. When I'm doing my Monday, which is mentoring my team, I look at my calendar and I say, I got this person, this person, this person, this person, back to back meetings. I'll have an intention of, I want to be the best leader possible for my team. That's my intent for today. You may not always realize it. It may not always happen, but it's going to happen a lot more often if you actually show up with that intention versus if you just wake up and say, okay, there's my calendar. Let's go do it. The intention makes a difference. If you want to watch every morning, you need to do this and it's robbing you of greatness. Check out the video next to me. I think you're gonna enjoy. Continue to believe. I will see you there. Every day you have a choice. Every day you have to decide who's gonna show up today. Is it gonna be the you who settles, who stays comfortable? 